Hello everyone, welcome back to the Power BI Tutorials. In this video, we are going to see that how can we use the Power Query Editor to just uh, merge the tables, the different tables into one another. Okay. So basically, uh, what we have taken over here is um, some of the tables uh, in Excel. We have created some of the tables in Excel. There are these different tables spanning across the different Excel sheets and then we are going to see that how can we merge them all into one using the Power Query Editor which is a part of Power BI. So first of all let us take a look at our data. So this is quarter one data that is an Excel workbook. It is actually our source data which we are going to act upon. So over here you can see that we have three sheets available the Jan 2020, the Feb 2020 and the March 2020. So basically this is a dummy data. Uh, this is not the actual data. It is of three quarter of the first quarter and the three months of 2020. Okay. So if we take a look at this March table, we have three columns, the date column, the product column and the quantity column. So basically this is a dummy data. That is why uh, what we have taken is the three uh, basic columns, the date column, product and the quantity column. That is a text, date and a numeric column. Okay. And uh, what we are uh, trying to do is we have listed the seven records for the uh, seven days of March. And um, uh, basically uh, what we are trying to do is we are just um, trying to get the quantities of the different items. Okay. And uh, the format of the date is DDMMYY. So it is the date first, then the month, and then the year. Similarly, for the February month also, we have the same kind of data, uh, but we have the different quantities and the different dates. That is for the February, we have the dates right now. And um, that's the products. The products are same, but the quantity and the dates are different. Similarly, for the January also, we have the data for the month of January where the quantities are different. So these are the three uh, sheets and the three tables that uh, we have created or we have in our Excel sheets. And what we want to do is in Power BI, we want to import all three of them, but we want to get the data of the whole of the first quarter like we do not want these three different sheets to be visible to us we don't want these three different tables to be visible to us we only want these uh, all this to be uh, clustered together in the form of one single table and using that table only we are uh, trying to just view our data so this is what we are trying to do Okay, so let us see that how can we do that in Power BI. So first of all, let us go to Power BI. And what we can do is uh, since our data is from Excel, so we can just go to import data from the Excel. And this is our workbook that is quarter zero one data. You can just click on it and click on open so that this data is loaded into our Power BI. Now for here, you need to wait for a few seconds till the Power BI loads that Excel data into itself. And once it's loaded, you would be able to see the different sheets and the different tables. Now, if you just uh, click over any of the table, you will find the table over here. And if you just click on the sheet uh, also, then since in one sheet, there was only one table. So we are able to find the tables for ourselves. Okay. So whatever you want to do, uh, whether you want to import the tables into your Power Query Editor or whether you want to import the sheets in the Power Query Editor, in this case, when there is only one table in one sheet, then there would be no difference. So if you want to import the tables, you can go with it. If you want to import the sheets, you can go with it. So I'm going to go with the tables only. So let us just select these three tables. Uh, these are the three tables which I'm going to import. Now what is uh, the goal over here is I want to make some changes to the way the data is loaded in these tables. That is why I need to click on transform data because this transform data thing will help me to just go into the power query editor. Okay. And you need to wait for a few seconds till this data is loaded. So you can see now the data is loaded. We have the table one that is for January month because we are having all the uh, like months for January. 
then we have the february month and then we have the march month okay so the format of the data is gd mm y y y uh that is the date first and the month and the year okay now what we are trying to do is we are going to append these three tables into one so how can we do that so for that purpose uh, what we can do is we can go to this add column options and here we have the option or we can just go to this home tab only and in this home tab we have this option of append queries okay so uh, this is actually a part of the combine group what is this combine group this combine group actually helps us to combine the different tables or the different like data into one another okay now here we have two options the merge queries or the append queries now whenever we are trying to like append the queries or append the tables into one another we can go with append queries what does appending means it means that you can list one table then the second table and the third table one after the other so that's exactly what we want to do right so that is why we are going for append queries if we just click on this drop down we are having two options the append queries and append queries as no as new so what happens when we click on append queries is an existing query would be appended and the existing query would be changed which we do not want we want to create a new query because we do not want uh, our original data to change that is why we can just go to append queries as new option if we just click over it and um, then you need to wait for a few seconds for this dialog box to appear this is this append dialog box which allows us to concatenate rows from two tables into a single table but the question is we are not having two tables we are having three tables so uh, not a problem we are having the data uh, or the option button here as three or more tables so we can just go to this option three or more tables okay now as soon as i click on that what happens is uh, you must see that over here in our power query editor this table one was highlighted or we were just viewing that table one so this table one is present by uh, default over here okay next we have table 13 that is having the data for the month of february if you want to just cross check you can go to excel and go to this feb 20 sheet and uh, here you can see that table 13 is the table which is containing the data for the month of february so you need to make sure that the correct order of the things is also known because then only the tables would be appended in the correct format okay so we know that table 13 is the second table for the month of february we can just click on it and click on add button so this table would be added in this column that is tables to append or you can just double click over in the available tables option and that table would be added as well if you want you can add any table multiple times so that uh, that table would be appended that number of times into our final query but if you don't want that you can simply just delete that particular table like this okay or if you want you can just change the order of the tables as well using these uh, arrow buttons over here so i'm happy with the order of table 1 table 13 and table 134 that is for the month of january february and march and you can just click on okay and now you can see that we have got a total of 21 records that is because each of the sheets had or each of the tables had seven records each and there were three tables so we were supposed to get 21 records and that's exactly what we are getting 21 records first seven are for the month of january then the seven are for the month of february and then the seven are for the month of march and we have got all the products listed over here and we have got all of their quantities okay now if you want to uh, make any changes to this data like you want to only show the um, binder data or the bean bag data binder and the bean bag data you can just select that and click on okay so only that data would be visible so all the filters etc could be applied right and um, uh basically this is the query that we have created now if you want to load your query so you can just click on close and apply so this power query editor would be closed and whatever changes you have applied into your query it would be uh, applied and um it would be loaded into your power bi like you can see uh, we are getting table 1 table 13 table 134 that was the original tables and the append one this append one was the name of the query that we had just created by appending the tables so you need to wait for a few seconds 
and then you can see that this append one is present over here so if you want you can just drag this uh, you can just expand it and then you can just drag it okay like this date product and quantity we are having so if you want you can just get this date here and you gotta wait for a few seconds till it is loaded okay actually it has by default created a chart so that's not what we wanted we wanted uh, to create a table right so you can just click on table and drag like date over here the product over here and the quantity over here now we can just uh, get it into the focus mode so you can see we have got all the quarters we have got all the days and we have got the month january uh, february march whatever the month is we have got that so that's all for this video and thanks for watching